What's up, everybody? Couch Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Valorant video. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down Valorant agents from easiest to hardest to master. And it's going to be definitely controversial. But if you want to learn exactly what characters you can pick up really easily and which characters take tons of hours to fully perfect, you gotta watch this video. Now I know that many of you have been grinding incredibly hard this spring to reach your all time peak, but you're getting a little musty. And here to help is our returning Manscaped partnership. Now Manscaped sent us an all new package that includes things like the deodorant and body wash and even this really fucking good lip balm. I'm serious. You can get the performance package 4.0 that comes with waterproof shavers and trimmers, everything you need from all-in-one shampoos, conditioners, to body washes and more accessories like these. And here's the thing, I'm gonna be real with you guys for a second. It's super easy for you to just neglect your physical and mental health. As guys, it happens all too often. But really, if you're not physically feeling good, you're not gonna mentally feel good as well. And Manscaped has everything you need so that you're at the tip top of your game. So what are you waiting for? Use code MILFS right now, down below in the links at the Manscaped checkout for 20% off your order and free shipping. Go check it out right now, down below. Now in order to make this list, I consulted two other immortal tier players and we did not agree on everything. So if there's anything you disagree with, definitely let us know down below. But for the most part, this is the 100% correct list. No, I'm just kidding. But what we consider mastery is someone that would play at like an immortal level or beyond that, immortal radiant pro. So starting off with the easiest character to master, we actually have Reyna. Now, Reyna is a character that pretty much everyone that knows how to play Valorant could play Reyna. She's very, very simple. She has a flash that doesn't blind her teammates and it can go through walls. And in addition to that, her abilities only are useful if she gets a kill and her playstyle in general is not something that is very difficult. You don't have to watch flanks for your team. You don't have to properly smoke on execution and you're not really thinking most of the time. Most of the time you're just aiming and you're using your abilities. It's very simple to master or get to a master level on Reyna. Most of that is always centered around your aim, not your actual ability use. Now the next character that we actually have in this video is Brimstone. Brimstone's in second place while smoking at the proper time can take a fair amount of game sense to properly understand. Brimstone's kit ultimately is pretty simple. Sure, you could learn some lineups with his molly, but with a singular molly, it's something that can be useful sometimes, but is not 100% necessary. In addition, the smokes are pretty straightforward where you can literally see exactly where they're being placed on a goddamn iPad. And ultimately, the play patterns of Brimstone are the easiest out of all the controllers. So for these reasons, he is one of the easiest characters to master in the game. Now the next character that we actually got to talk about is Sage. And I know right off the bat, some people are gonna be like, but the Sage walls, the crazy ass weird angled Sage walls. And I'm gonna tell you, while those are cool, they're flashy, they can get kills. At the pro level, they're not used. In fact, a lot of them are not allowed to be used. And even still, you could climb and technically master the character without knowing some of those more niche scenario walls. Properly holding, using the wall to delay or potentially get a plant down, walling off certain areas that people could lurk up and slowing people down. These are all things that good sages know and can do. And to master sage doesn't require that much complexity, unlike many of the other characters in the game. So she's towards the bottom of the list. Next up, we gotta talk about Phoenix. He has a wall, he has an AOE, he has a combination of different abilities like a flash, abilities that are pretty forgiving as far as going in with heal on both of his abilities that can heal him and his ultimate that allows him to run in for free. Phoenix is a pretty straightforward character and ultimately we decided that he is not that difficult to master fully. Now the next character that we actually have on this list is Omen and uh, two of us actually thought that Omen should be a right around here but one of us thought that Omen should be quite a bit higher because he puts more stock into proper smoke timing and I will say that Omen can be a little bit difficult as someone who plays Omen quite a bit if you're trying to smoke for your team, flash for your team, set up plays and potentially smoke openings at the same time that you're doing other things. This it can be difficult on the character, but to purely just master him just at base level, right? Smoking the angles that you're supposed to, flashing your team in, potentially paranoiding them in, 
you can still master the character and play the character appropriately well at an immortal level without incorporating a lot of the crazy teleport, aggressive, lurk, flanks, or whatever the case may be. It's important to understand that while you can do a lot of things with some of these characters, that doesn't necessarily make you better at these characters. Going in like a psychopath, the teleporting around, that's not really what pros actually do when they play these characters. And to master these characters, you don't necessarily need to do that crazy stuff. So for just a regular, solid, very well-mastered Omen, I think that he's around here. But if you're trying to go for a lot more crazy plays and get really tricky with the way in which you paranoia and teleport and aggressively teleport, then maybe you could bump him up to quite a bit higher on the list. But I really want to hear your opinion. How hard do you think Omen is to master? Let me know down below. Now the next character that we have to talk about is Killjoy. Killjoy is actually more difficult to master than meets the eye. You need to know when to lock down and how to properly lock down so it doesn't get destroyed by utility. You need to keep track of the angles that your lockdown actually covers and where enemies are most likely to be. You need to learn lineups and special spots to put your actual utility to potentially get kills or stop enemies from planting. And of course, properly peeking with your turret setting up the flank, keeping appropriate distance between your turret to make sure it's on, or keeping track when your turret turns off. There's like a lot of intricacy in the character. And I think that she kind of gets uh, a bad rap for being a really easy to master character, but I don't think that that's true at all. I think she's actually very difficult. Moving on to the next character, number seven on the list is actually Jet. Now, Jet is a character that you might think is pretty simple. She's definitely easy to play, but she is not easy to master. You have to properly know how to use your knives in what situations. Of course, there's a large amount of mechanical skill tied in, but it's also about when to right click, when to left click, when are you dashing and updrafting, when are you running a corner, when are you holding a corner, and how to peek in and around your smokes. I think a big part of Jet is utilizing your smokes to take angles that enemies wouldn't expect. Whether it's throwing a smoke at a choke and wide peeking around the right side, or smoking jumping out with your knives, or, you know, using it as an exit strategy. There's a lot of different intricacies to Jet, and she has a lot of crazy movement abilities, and sure, it's easy to see, hey, she's just a character that just ops and dashes away, or she flies in, but to master the character, there's a lot you need to know and a lot you need to master, and I think your timing needs to be pretty, pretty concise. You have small windows of time to get kills before you need to move on and clear other areas, so she actually goes up into this level. Now, we'll say a tier above that as far as difficulty to master is Chamber. Now, I actually thought I would put Chamber a little bit higher, but our Immortal 3 Chamber main in the call said he's actually not that difficult compared to a lot of other characters he plays. And Chamber is basically a character where once you learn how to properly set up your teleports and things like that, sure, you have to keep track of those and you have to, you know, put flank trips and take note of characters that can actually circumvent them like a jet could smoke off a flank trip or things like that but ultimately the character is pretty centered around aim right it's very aim centric around your ultimate aim centric around your freaking sheriff and that is not what we're kind of trying to quantify here because if you have insane aim that doesn't mean you're better or worse at any character specifically it just means you're good at aiming in valorant but for chamber in particular to master him it's all about you know properly picking your engagements making sure you have an exit making sure that all of these angles are properly shut down and that you have a plan for how to peek certain angles where to get away and what angles enemies are pushing onto you so all in all, the character can be pretty difficult to manage all those little factors, but he isn't the most difficult character in the game by any means. Now, the next character on our list from easiest to hardest to master is actually Breach. And we're starting to ramp things up into a little bit more difficult characters here. And Breach, I think, gives a little bit of an unfair rap to call him an easy character, but I think he's actually rather difficult. The most important aspect of Breach is actually knowing where you are flushing enemies to and how you are clearing, right? If you clear one angle, you flash another, you have to think about where enemies would naturally go if there was an enemy in any of those areas. You're kind of moving the areas where enemies could be to where you want to, till ultimately you finish them off or you get a free kill. You set up that kill. Basically keeping track of all these little angles you're, you're clearing, 
clearing an entry for your team, and then just setting up unfair fights over and over again, where you and your team have the advantage. That's what Chamber gets to really set up, but it takes a Chamber that really understands how and where enemies would move to and how to utilize your abilities to really set up as many of these engagements as possible. So I'm actually putting him up here. Next up, we do got to talk about Viper. Viper's a character that can be pretty difficult. Learning the wall lineups are super easy, but you do have to learn some amount of the snake bite lineups. And also Viper is a very strange character where there's a high risk in death. When you're playing inside your Viper's pit or when you're playing, you know, lurking any angle or whatever, dying could mean denying your team a lot. If you're in that pit and your whole team is in there, if you die, you are completely screwing your team. And sometimes you have to be really sneaky with the way in which you play in and around inside your Viper's pit. When to peek out, what's the timing involved? What is the time in which an enemy would have to push inside to tap the spike? These type of things really make it difficult for the character to fully focus on just purely hitting your shots when you have all this other stuff to worry about. Not to mention sometimes you're on point and you have to worry about raising a smoke, dropping a smoke, catching people off guard when they try to use your LOS to cross. There's a lot of different things you need to properly nail before you get really good at Viper. And for that reason, I think that Viper is pretty high up on this list. Now for this next character, none of us could agree. We all had different opinions on this character, so we kind of settled here. And the ultimate takeaway is that Neon gets a bad rap. Kind of like Breach, but far more. I think a lot of people think that Neon is a very easy character to master. They put her really low on the list and say she's just a character that just runs it down. What is there to think about? But the thing about Neon is that there's a lot you actually have to think about. How to properly use your wall. When and where do you utilize that one slide? How to properly engage lineups with your stun ability. And I think most of all, movement. Movement on Neon is very hard to master, but someone who really knows how to properly move on Neon can have such a difference. And we're actually seeing Optic freaking whip out that Neon in pro play now. And we got to kind of revisit how we feel about Neon in pro play going forward, because I think this might change a few things. But the reality of it is that Neon can be a very unforgiving character for someone who hasn't mastered her. When you get to a certain point, enemies are just going to shit on you. If you try to just slide, run and gun them, they're going to just dink you in the head unless you're properly timing your engagements and you have great movement. So I do think that she's all the way up here. Some people might disagree and want to put her way down below, but I think she is actually a lot more difficult to master than people think. Now the next character that we actually have here is Sky. We're putting Sky pretty high up. Another one we kind of disagreed with, but the general consensus is that Sky is pretty hard to master. Not only do you have to master different types of flashes, over the top information flashes, quick pop flashes, jump flashes, but you have to use consistent utility use, make sure things are properly clear. And I think most importantly of all, Sky plays this hybrid role where sometimes she takes the role of something like a DPS pop flasher to pop flash angles, and take duels or take opera sight lines. And then other times she's trying to gather information for her team's entry. So because of that, you really have to know a lot to play Sky. I think that you have to kind of really know a lot about timing, engagement, be confident in your mechanical skills, be confident in your ability to take these fights. And I think there's just a lot required to be a true Sky master. So for those reasons, she's up top. Now, the next character that we got to talk about is actually Cypher. And this is another character that people think might be maybe a little easier, but I think to master Cypher, it takes a lot. A bad Cypher is not going to be able to get anywhere near the value as a master Cypher. Someone who knows how to properly trip, not just trip proper places, or even set up the one ways or the specific cages, but someone who can actively reposition their trips on a dime. Your mid combat, you can freaking cage off one area, trip it and re reposition and kind of really lock down the point in a way that will get you kills, get you value or allow you to retake with your team. Properly put your camera in certain places to set up plays for your team. And doing all this on the fly, I think takes a lot. And that's what a master cypher can do. If you just go look at Dapper when he plays cypher, how much he does on that character, all the crazy decision making and the changes he does on the fly to his setup it's kind of like you're building, like build your own setup, but the optimal setup might change at any point in the round, depending on where enemies were last seen or where enemies are, maybe even on the side or where they were last shown. 
So you can constantly make a more optimized setup and there's a lot of playmaking you could do in the middle of a fight. I just really think that to master Cypher takes a lot and this is coming from someone who can't play the character at fucking all. <laughs> Now the next character that we got to talk about, we're entering top five territory here. These are the five hardest characters to master. And I think these were the five easiest to choose. All the other ones were a little bit more difficult, but these are easy. And the fifth place is definitely Raze. Raze has a huge skill ceiling. And I'm not even just talking about her crazy rollouts. Because I do think that while some of those are useful, I don't necessarily think that they are necessary to quote unquote master a character. You don't see freaking raises in pro play, you know, freaking triple satchel off a sage wall into CT, okay? I think it looks cool. I think it's flashy and ranked, but it's not a, uh, a requirement to master the character. But you do have to know how to properly move with the character very well, how to utilize your satchels to move an enemy to take a duel with them. You see really great race players do this where they'll literally throw a satchel to knock off you know, move them slightly before they swing and they can win duels that way. Learning lineups with your grenades or just properly channeling the fight in the direction you want to go or moving enemies in the direction you want to take an engagement. And I think that all of that, you know, combined plus the movement on raise and just the crazy possibilities with the character make her one of the hardest characters to master in the game. And it's not freaking close. Now the next character that we actually had in number fourth most difficult to master is actually Yoru. Yoru is very, very difficult to master. You need to know timing. You have to really get into the minds of your enemies and you have so many options, whether it's sending a fake teleport or really teleporting or flash real teleporting or flash fake, flash fake, send a copy, go into your old back. I don't fucking know. There's a million different things. And I love watching Cody. He's one of my favorite streamers to watch. And he was rank one Yoru for a long time. And he's still like top five right now. He's freaking insane. And uh, yeah, he just completely outplays some of the best players. And he has full mastery of that character. But I honestly think that the ceiling on this character hasn't even been reached. He's really great. He's phenomenal. And he's so damn hard to master. It's incredible. Any Yoru mains out there, I respect you immensely because... I get destroyed by Yoru and ranked. I can't, I, I don't even know. Now moving on to the top three most difficult agents to master. Number three is going to be KO. And at first I thought KO was actually pretty easy, right? You throw the knife, you pop the flashes, you have AOE, simple, right? Not so much, especially the flash is very, very difficult to master. I think this flash has the potential to be the strongest flash in the game, but it's very difficult to master this flash because there's a lot you can do with it. Flash for your teams from really far away. Bounce flash a corner and peek it. Throw a long flash, peek the angle, and then de-peek before it pops. That's a great one. I love that one. Properly flash behind you so that it barely peeks the enemy when it pops and then peek them. There's just like a lot of different intricacies with this flash. And I think that just the flashes have such a high skill ceiling. And we're starting to see more and more really top tier KOs come out of the woodwork right now in the pro scene as the character gets better and better. And I don't even think we've seen the peak of this character. So I actually am putting him here. He might be behind Raze or behind Yoru, but he's definitely in the top five. He's freaking insanely difficult to master. Now, moving on to number two, and number two and number one could probably be flip-flop, but for now, our number two is actually going to be Sova. Of course, Sova. Sova's so goddamn difficult to master. A million lineups a million you know calculations you got to know simple geometry or you got to have average jonas's video open on your secondary monitor if you want to play this character because he's hard he's so hard sova's insanely difficult to master there's just so much and i don't necessarily think that every single lineup in the world is needed to master the character but what i do think is needed is properly knowing how to dart when to dart how fast to dart how to mix up your darts in order to make it so they don't get destroyed right away and deducing where enemies are based on the information you gain denying enemies aggressive plays or being able to hold cubbies and forcing enemies to respect the information you're gathering there's a lot involved as far as mastering soba in addition he has an ultimate that is also pretty difficult to use as well so i really think that he is one of the most difficult characters in the entire game to master now Let's talk about the final character, the most difficult character to master. In my personal opinion, we pretty much all agreed on this, but I really want to hear if you agree, it's Astra. We think Astra is so difficult to master. Now, doing your job on Astra is one thing. 
But mastering the character is crazy. You need to know when to suck, when to smoke, when to concussion, where to place them, when to bring some back, and when to replace them, how to place your wall. Her ultimate is so powerful, but it's also crazy freaking hard to use, insanely difficult to properly use. And I do think that all in all, this character requires you to think a ton. You have to think so much that I don't even know how Astra players actually aim because they're they're focusing on everything else and then they have to aim too. God damn, it's crazy. I think Astra is very difficult. I know she's not great in the meta right now, but that doesn't mean she's not very difficult to master. But ultimately, this is our list for the easiest to hardest characters to master in Valorant. But I really want to hear your opinion. Is there anything that you think that we completely miss? placed i i feel like a couple of y'all are gonna be triggered about maybe reyna maybe sage maybe omen maybe chamber neon i don't know i have no idea but i'm really curious about how you feel give your thoughts and reasoning down below go check out our manscape partnership and use code milfs at the manscape checkout for 20 percent off your order right now in the links down below